Hey guys, what's up? It's Jacob here, and today I'm going to be doing the first video of my server rack. I'm probably going to go into a ton of videos regarding this rack, but just so you guys know, this is the first one, and I'm basically just going to cover the very basics of it, because I'm going to go into many, many, many videos of this explaining exactly how every single box is set up, and I'm going to show you guys um, what, uh, you know, just how everything is set up, and uh, I'll probably make another video uh, after this showing the uh, network topology of how everything's hooked up and whatnot, and then we'll go into um, how each con server is configured through uh, Linux and what each one's doing. So I'm basically just going to pop this open. Uh, we'll open up the rack and um, I'll show you guys what what's inside and basically what each box is for, the general basics of what they're for, and then uh, later on we'll go into exactly the details of everything. So. Um, I'm just going to do a very general rundown of it. Sorry if it's very loud, guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that's running. Uh, actually, there's only one server running, but uh, the firewall is very loud as well as the uh, uh, one server that's running. But um, <coughs> i sure you guys can still hear me. So basically, we have the internet coming in up here. Okay. Um, this is Time Warner, 15 down, 1 meg up, um, not very fast right now, but it does for what I'm doing. Um, soon when I get my website up, which I do plan on doing that soon, I'll talk about that in another video, but uh, I am going to be hosting my website myself from these servers. I'm probably going to have to upgrade the internet to a little bit faster up speed, because 1 megabit per second is just not going to cut it. Um, for a while, this was my main firewall, this Netgear uh, wireless router, but it's no longer the main firewall. So. The um, WAN comes out of here, so when our WAN comes out of here, it comes out of the cable modem and it goes down into um, this firewall. This here is the WAN line. So uh, this here is just a Citrix access gateway. Um, when I bought it, it was imaged for an access gateway and it's no longer an access gateway anymore because I wiped it and now it has PFSense on it. So it's running PFSense 2 point whatever the hell the version's at right now. but um, so basically, it's just a uh, firewall server, but this does a lot more than firewall. It's also a DHCP. It also has proxy and caching and stuff like that. So um, it's very, it does a lot. This box does a lot. Um, but it's very noisy, as you can hear. Um, anyways, our WAN comes in here, and uh, it does the firewall and all the uh, proxy servers and stuff, and it puts it out, and it comes out here. So this is also our gateway. Um, this assigns um, DHCP addresses to everything that's DHCP. It also um, assigns the static addresses to all the servers that are acquiring uh, the static address. Um, it comes out of the, the uh, box here. This is still basically um, a WAN, but it's not quite a WAN. It comes out of there and it goes into the outside link of this package, packeteer package shaper. This basically allows us to um, I'm not going to get into the details of this, but yeah, I'll do a whole other video on this box in itself because it's really cool. These two boxes can do a lot. They're very, very powerful. But this basically um, allows me to set um, limits on the network. I can see every little bit of traffic between which website, how much traffic over the period of one minute, an hour, a day, a week. Um, I think it even goes up to a year, maybe a month or whatever. You can see where all your traffic's going. So it's very, very handy for finding out where all your traffic, where all your packets and stuff are going. Um, this little router up here is not set up or anything. That's just kind of chill in there. Anyways, um, a lot of this stuff isn't actually on right now. Just my file server, uh, this Dell PowerEdge 1425. But um, right here, this is a, a Netscaler um, made by Citrix again. Citrix Netscaler. Um, this box here is a load balancer. So it's going to load balance all my front-end uh, Apache servers. Uh, as of now, the website that I'm going to launch for the forum site to go to my YouTube channel is currently running on uh, this server. The server's not running right now, but it will be soon. And the website's going to start running out, start out running on this Dell PowerEdge 1750. So I'm going to use these two guys as Dell PowerEdge 1750s. They all have uh, three hard drives in them. Uh, this one has 36 gig hard drives. This one has 173 gig hard drives. They're configured in RAID 5. So those are going to be the front end web Apache servers. Um, they both have a lamp on them, and they would be load balanced through this load balancer. Um, and I'll get into how all that's set up later. We'll show you, again, we'll show you the topology graphs 
of how everything's hooked up and I'll show you how we set up load balancing and all that to set up a very large uh, network. Down here is the um, Dell Power Edge 1850. It's got RAID 1, so it's got a hard disk here. The hard disk here, those are 173 gigabyte hard drives again, um, 10,000 RPM. This right now is not really running anything, but um, I just yesterday started putting Squid Proxy on it. So it's probably going to be a uh, caching server to run uh, cache for the uh, web proxies or for the web servers so that we can speed up um, our, our the serve times for the web pages. It'll probably have a, a local proxy as well as a reverse proxy to um, speed up serving web pages from these servers. The reverse proxy will help um, assist these servers. It'll take load off these servers and serve web pages faster to the clients of the website. This down here is my Dell Power Edge 2950. It's got um, six hard drives in it, so it's sporting uh, 7200 RPM. Each of them are 750 gigs. This is basically where I store all my, um, you know, porn, illegal movies, stuff like that. It's all on that server right there. For now, uh, it has a lot of like movies and videos and stuff, and probably the video that you're watching right now is going to probably be stored on this server. Um, as of now, it's like 75% full, which is actually quite amazing because it's got like 3.6 or something like that terabytes of space, usable space, and I've used like a lot of it. Most of it's movies, so I'm going to have to clear that out soon because when I um, launch my website on these servers, they're going to, um, they're going to, all the, this, the website will be hosted from these. It'll have a cache here. We'll have a MySQL server, which will probably also be on this the main MySQL server will probably also be on the 1850. And then all the big files that people upload, all the attachments and all the file sharing and stuff that I'm going to have on the site, is going to go to this Dell Power Edge 2950 because it's got a lot of space for that. And then this guy up here is uh, my own cloud server. I use it for own cloud. Uh, and it also runs just a uh, little basic like file storage and stuff. It's got two 750 gigabyte, um, uh, what do you call it, SATAs in there. And those are running at 7200 RPM, just the same exact drives that are in this. And it's in RAID 1. So everything here is redundant. There's no RAID 0 going on here. We don't, I don't mess around with that kind of stuff. So basically, uh, back up to the top here. Um, I never explained. Once, once it gets out of this packet shaper, so we, we come out of this uh, firewall here. It goes into the packet shaper. And then it comes out of the packet shaper. This here is just a management port to the packet shaper. As you can see, uh, let's see if we can get in on it. It says management. So that right there is just to manage it through a web browser and see all the uh, stats of the uh, packet shaper. Um, let's see if I can get in on the screen there. I don't know how well. Well, you can see that um, I have the shaping off right now. What it shows, right? what's really cool about this box is you can see in real time megabits per second up and down so I can see all the traffic flowing through the network at all times. It's got a little graph right there and it shows in megabits per second the traffic going in and out of the network at any given time. So that's really cool. It's got even more advanced graphs in real time or over a period of time that you can access the web browser. That's what this box does. So once it goes in it just basically loops through and now this is our internet line. It's given DHCP addresses by this box, our firewall, and that goes all the way up into this Netgear switch. So this is a 100 megabit switch, 24 port, and this basically connects all the servers. We also have these little wires here which are going to fiber optics. These are just going to various devices throughout the house, computers and stuff like that, media devices. Um, it just It's a way of shooting a fast connection, not wireless but a, a, a LAN connection through the house, but very far through fiber optics, so that's what that's for. And those are just going into the switch right here. Um, and then basically, I mean, these are all servers right here, all the server um, network cards. These are the first port on all my servers. All these servers have two network cards here. So um, the first network card is plugged in right here. This is 100 megabit stuff right here. This is all 100 megabit. And then coming out of, um, uh, there, you can see all the servers are plugged in, and then just uh, the wireless router for up here is also plugged in there, so it can get internet access. And then there's also a, a printer and stuff like that, so that's all plugged in there. But then you can see there's this red cable. This red cable 
links up into another switch. This switch right here is a D-Link, um, let's see if I can get in on that. It's a D-Link DGS 10, uh, 1080p. Let me see if I can, I just got this camera today, guys, so I really don't know how to focus it. Um, I don't know. Hopefully that's good enough, but take my word for it. That thing is a D, DGS 1018. Let's see if we can get it there. It's a gigabit switch, um, and basically the second network card on all these servers is plugged in through there. I have this so that it can get internet access, they can get internet access on that second network card in case they need to, but this is basically so that I can communicate from one server to another and shoot files between them very fast through gigabit. So if they were all plugged into this switch, they would only have 100 megabit, but this way we can get internet access and all that and uh, serve up web pages and stuff through 100 megabit and do all the web services through there and if I want to communicate from server to server um, we have a um, gigabit connection between each of the servers second port on their network cards so server 1 through 5 and then this is the load balancer I have the load balancer plugged in here too so the load balancer has two plugs it has uh, one going into the, the 100 megabit and one going into the gigabit switch and then there's five servers, and they all have a, a port here too. So five ports for the um, servers, the load balancer, and the internet access into this switch. So that's pretty much it. This box up here is just a spare um, uh, fiber optic converter. So I mean, these basically you just throw in a, a copper line right there, puts out a fiber port right there, and you can convert it on the other end. Uh, here's another fiber optic converter, just spare hard drives and crap. Uh, but this is what would be on the other end, you know, you'd have your fiber optics come in here and it would reconvert it back into copper. And those are little uh, fiber optic converters. This here is another fiber optic converter. Um, just spare switches, 100 uh, gigabit, 100 megabit, just stuff laying around just for whatever. Um, that's pretty much it for everything that's in this rack and how it's, what basically everything is going to do or what it already does do. So, i go over it one more time. Uh, the two web servers, the caching and Apache, or sorry, the caching and um, MySQL will be stored here. And then load balancer, package shaper, file server, file server. Um, this is more of like a cloud server. It's for own cloud. So I mean, like I can, I use my iPhone and back up all my iPhone photos and everything to that right there. This one's for like storing big mucho macho files that come from these web servers that people will upload to my website and the firewall of course that's the firewall box right there so that's pretty much it for this one guys um i would show you the back of it but it's kind of a pain in the a to pull out right now and show you the back of it there's all the power cables yes there are three power strips um that's the ups right now um obviously that ups doesn't run um all this but uh the ups is basically just going to run um the firewall the packet shaper and the switches as well as the modem and the wireless router so it keeps all of our internet connections up if the power goes out but it doesn't actually keep any of the servers themselves running it just keeps the essential stuff to keep up the internet connection in the house if uh, the power goes out and it does go out quite often here just mainly because circuit breakers trip uh, but besides that our power is actually very reliable here in southern california but that's pretty much it for this one guys hope you enjoyed it and as always guys have a good one. Um, I'll definitely be making more videos soon on this rack in very great detail. I'll show you guys how all those are set up. But that's it for now, guys. Like always, have a good one.